This week on the Spotlight, we take you back to May 1988, the very first show in this series. Wow. Then we have excerpts from the last Benkowski Championship title match at the Sock. And then we have some Ray Durham, the great White Sox second baseman, Speedy. And we have the Blackhawks' Mike Keenan from the 90s. Check out my website, Benkowski.com, for my weekly article and up-to-the-minute trivia sites. From wherever Chicago sports teams are making news, it's the Perfect Pitch Auto Repair Sports Spotlight. Flowers for every imaginable occasion at Lansing Floral Shop. Call them at 708-474-1212. They deliver. You've got to get to Gahuli's for trivia night. I'll be there one block east of Pulaski and 103rd near St. Xavier. Friday, February 15th. Music, movies, TV, sports. Great place to have fun. I'll see you there. You've got to get to the sock. Live Benkowski Trivia, alternate Thursdays, 8 p.m., 93rd and Roberts Road. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. Stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. You've got to get to Dr. Sherman Clay, chiropractor. Gentle adjusting. Most insurance accepted. Massage therapy, too. Walk-ins are welcome. Call 773-324-4325. That's HEAL. Dr. Sherman Clay. You've got to get to the Wise Owl at Van Buren and Racine. Pizzas, pork sliders, Cuban sandwiches, carrot soup, elote, burgers, taco salads, and more. Great cocktails and great bartenders. A tremendous array at the Wise Owl, Van Buren and Racine. See you there. You've got to get to Renata's Beauty Salon like I do. Men, women, and kids cuts. Open six days a week. Walk-ins are welcome. They're located at 12558 Southwestern Avenue in Blue Island, just six blocks south of Chicago. They are really efficient, uh, an amazing place, and uh, I'm really, really pleasantly surprised with my first cut and looking forward to more. Renata's Beauty Salon, 125th and Western. We're back in the spotlight at the Sock, the site of the 2018 Benkowski Championship match. To JMB. <laughs> November 25th, 1985 issue. Mike Singletary and Dave Dewerson on the cover. Con converging on quarterback Danny White, of which NFC team? Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys is right. So you go to 860. Karen's Killers. Karen's Killers, psyched up and ready to go. 2018. Five of the active, or five of the top ten all-time passing yardage leaders are currently active. Name two. Right there. And then Drew uh, Brees and Tom Brady. Brees, Brady. You got your Eli Manning, your Rivers, your Big Ben. Sixty. So you're up to eight sixty. And now we go to Baja. Baja. Yes. B.B. <coughs> Newworth or National Geographic? That's you. What a hip way to say it. Studying vaccine success, we've ta they talk about the elimination in the United States of rubella, 
and a disease that starts with P. What's the P one? Five seconds. Polio. Correct. It's a 60. So Baja to 840. They're neck and neck with the killers. 83 is up. <laughs> On that cover, the 1985 Bears threw a shutout. They beat Dallas something to nothing. Within two, how many did the Bears score? 44. 44 is right. 70. It's a big play. 8-10. So we got three teams in the eights over by there. Roadies, you need this. Roadies? What do you want to play? Okay, roadies, reel your in and play right. Sports Illustrated. Game is 83. Five sixty. Double O night out. This city in a mountainous area is atop the United States in happiness factor. The city begins with a B and it's in a mountainous state. Five seconds. Boulder. Boulder, Colorado. Boulder, Colorado is right. 70. It's a big play. It's a very big play. You go to 760. The pinballs are up. Pinballs. Two thousand eighteen. In horse racing, the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont went to, to this horse seven letters. Five seconds. Going. Pharaoh. Pharaoh's not it. We go to JMB. Justify. Justify is right. 90. So you climb to 950. You're close to a G. And key Karen's killers are up. You've got to get to Lansing Floral Shop. Open at 8 a.m. daily. Besides a great array of live flowers, they have custom silks, Bridgewater candles. They want you to plan your parties early at a wide delivery area. They're located at 3420 Ridge Road in Lansing, or you can call 708-474-1212. Weddings, funerals, birthdays, anniversaries, and guys, try the No Reason Flower. Believe me, it works. Lansing Floral Shop. Give them a call, 708-474-1212. Kim G. Sherman, psychotherapist, Desplaines Wellness Center. Therapy for individuals, couples, families. Call 847-962-4849. I've known Kim for over 20 years. She is a true professional, and she will help you. Give her a call. Family dentist, Lawrence Furland, DDS, 109th and Kedzie, crowns, veneers, cleanings, improving your smile, you do a great job. Call 773-233-7044. Excellent work. Impeccable. Call the family dentist. 773-233-7044. They did a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. You've got to get to Shelton Fireworks, the world's largest warehouse, off Interstate 94, exit 22B in Porter, Indiana. Row after row of the best fireworks anywhere. From the little ones to the grand finales that'll end your show. Birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, in addition to the 4th of July. Just get over there to Shelton Fireworks now. 
then you can reload by the time summer comes. Shelton Fireworks, I-94, exit 22B in Portage. And now you are presented with the year 2000, and you got to try to, as everyone does, improve every year. It, what area do you think that would be the easiest to improve on? Because, you know, you did have some nice offensive numbers. I, I, I know what it is. It's steals. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, Two steals a week. That's what I told you last year. Yeah, then I started hitting some home runs and triples early. Yeah, and I'm yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Too much power, huh? That's ahead of the game. Well, but, uh, yeah. well, how about on base percentage? Where were you at there? Were you where you wanted to be there? Uh, it needs to be a little higher. Yeah, I wanted, you know, you know, Frank's a big guy, and you know, he, he, I mean, he always has that high on base percentage, and you know, I, w I want to be up there around Frank. What particular element? What gets you there? I mean, do you take more two two pitches? How do you, how do you do that? I, it's it's pretty hard. Oh, I don't know. I mean, Frank. I mean, Frank seems to do it. Uh, I, I guess you know he he does walk a lot. And, of course, he gets a lot of hits, too, so I, I think that's um, one thing that, you know, I Watch some video with him. Did you ever sit down and watch video with Frank? Watch video? Yeah, to go over the, yeah, like strike zone video. Like, this pitcher tends to nibble outside here. This pitcher tends, I mean, he must know that stuff, right? It's not all reactions, yeah, is we, it? Uh, I mean, we have hitting, we have hitting meetings. Um, you know, we, we go over the pitcher that's pitching that day, so, I mean, every, everybody knows, but, I mean, but... You know, guys are different. I mean, guys that pitch Frank, they're not going to pitch me the same way. Oh, that's true. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Make them do it, though. See, there, right, there. Tried. Okay. I'm, I'm trying. All right. Uh, you know, I, I had, a, had a little success for that last year, and, you know, it, and I came up with a pretty good year. That's true. Hey, I heard somebody refer to uh, the big contract that... Uh, that Derek Jeter left on the table, to, you know, to settle for a mere what ten mil or so, somewhere thereabouts. That, as an infielder, you have to be generally happy by seeing that kind of stuff floated out there, right? Oh yeah, you know, these, you, know you, you usually tell, you know, these other guys that's up for contract. You say, oh, oh get as much as you want, because you mean your time's going to come where you're going to, you know, look at it and go, you know, see what's out there, and, and you know, kind of, you know, base what you you think you're worth on what, a, what the other guys are getting. Um, one thing that I saw that's kind of unusual, I've never seen this before, and the, and the team gave this out. They're projecting the year 2003 lineup. Have you seen this? No. Okay, now, it's cool you're there, but I don't see Mike Caruso. Now, I don't know how well you know Jason Delero, but, uh, you know, if I'm Mike Caruso, I'm not liking this piece of paper. What do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> You know what, that, that should give him an incentive yeah. to go out there and, you know, bust his rear end, and, you know, to make this. I mean, because, I mean, I mean he has to. Um, you know, he's, he's going to be pushed this year, and I think it's an important part of his career right now is go out there and do well and, you know, and try and bring out the best in him. You know, not to get too morose or anything, because everything's so upbeat and cheery for year 2000, but somebody said that one of Mike's problems last year was he was still getting over the death of his best friend. And that, and that he, you know, like he might have been in shock at the end of 98 and 99. He was just, it plagued him and he thought about it a lot. Did he ever reveal that to you? No? He uh, didn't run that by me. Uh, ever seem like something was kind of gnawing at him? He's a pretty quiet guy, hard to tell. Yeah, yeah, he's quiet, but I mean, he just, you know, he started he started to have this little skid there, and, um, you know, he just, you know, he just didn't recover from it. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I, you know I'd, I'd go and talk to him and, you know, mention a couple of things that I saw, and, and I, mean, he, I mean, he just didn't, he just didn't recover. Um, you know, he, he should come back this year, you know, he should. Put, this on, put that up on his locker there, see? That'll get right. What, what the, you don't believe in bulletin board material? No, I, I, I don't believe in that. Um, I mean, because as players, I mean, you know what you have to go out there and do. I mean, you know, you know, guys are on your rear end that want your job, and you know, if you're not going to perform, then you know, they're always going, going look at this guy. You know, like I said before, I mean, if you're not doing your job, I man, they're going to go out and find someone else who can. Well, let's keep it upbeat. 
you know, there, there's a, several players who've gotten some good major league experience, especially pitchers, uh, coming back in the year 2000. What, what do you look for that's important to get your team off and rolling? I mean, aside from just winning games, what, what, what do you look for for this team? Because not a lot of people know too much about what's going to happen. Team chemistry important? <clears throat> yeah, team, team chemistry is very important. Um, you know, we, we didn't have that last year, and, 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 you know, we just, you know, couldn't get over that hump. Maybe you got to step up now that you're a young veteran. You're almost 30 years old. Yeah, no, I'm an old man now. But seriously. I mean, you know, you're a fun guy, but that doesn't mean you can't tell a 22-year-old, get with it. Oh, I've, I've done it before. I mean, you know, I'm a nice guy, but, you know, if I see you or see someone that's, you know, in my mind, not doing what he's supposed to be doing, oh, I'll, I'll let him know. I'll let him know. I'm not afraid. Okay. <laughs> I'm not that, afraid. That's good. Okay, in summary and then wrapping up, what... what do the fans out there look for from the year 2000 White Sox? Last year, we promoted they'll play hard, you know, they'll, they'll run through the walls. But, I mean, aside from hard play, what about winning play? Winning play? You know, we're going to go out there and give it our best. Um, you, know, we, you know, just go out there and have fun. You know, as long as you're having fun and, you know, everything usually takes care of itself. With a 30 year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huckfin is open. Go play at Red Shoes Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski in Alsip, featuring 16 Brunswick Gold Crown pool tables, drop fluorescent lighting fixtures, and the fabulous grade of cloth. Call 708-388-3700. And now video gaming is available at Red Shoes from open till close. And don't forget, the Illinois Lottery 2. That's Red Shoe Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski. You've got to get to the sock live Minkowski trivia alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. 93rd and Roberts Road. Great game, great people. Check out the sock. I think you'll be glad you did when you go to my trivia game every other Thursday. 8 p.m. 93rd and Roberts Road. Perfect pitch auto repair at 108th and Kedzie. Thus tune-ups, transmission, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes, and emission system repair. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and they've done a great job for me. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. You've got to get to Papa Joe's new location, 5900 West 111th Street. Italian beef, tetrazzini, great pizza, parmesan, ravioli, and more. All my classic choices. New location, and they can still deliver into the city. Get the Papa Joe's. The Blackhawks hit the midseason mark with a tremendous victory over the Hartford Whalers. A victory that included a reuniting of the Savard Larmer Secord line. Dennis Savard had three goals. Al Secord had a pair. Steve Larmer had another playing in his 600th consecutive game. Let's get downstairs right away and talk to the key players as they go back, flashing back to seven years ago when those guys clicked for almost 300 points. First click to you that they should be reunited on a permanent basis. Nothing's permanent here, but for the time being, uh, in terms of lines, it uh, worked out. It just happened to work out well. It, uh, we have to assemble the lines and keep things interesting for them. It's a long haul over 80 games, and, and uh, that's part and parcel of the some of the reasons why I change the lineups. Uh, they get pretty tired of each other after a while too and it gives them a fresh look and an opportunity to play with someone else. Cover off injuries, but uh, one of the main reasons because of the, all the injuries that we've had in the hockey club right now is one of the main reasons why I put them together. What's the difference you see in the He's played with a, a lot of confidence. He's playing with authority. Um, I'm sure it's been very helpful for him to acquire some more ice time. We need him. Uh, we we uh, think a lot of him. Uh, he's had to struggle through uh, 
tough initiation with uh, myself in terms of the demands that we've put on everyone. But uh, he, he, he's a fine hockey player. He's getting better. And with the ice time, his confidence is increasing. Last two games look like Chevrolet is coming down a little bit. He's played really well, I felt, in the last two games. Exceptionally well last game. And uh, as I said, it was unfortunate we weren't able to win the hockey game for him because he deserved the win. And tonight he played a very solid game for us. So. That's exciting for the hockey club. Obviously, this is a different situation when you play at Hartford. How does it feel to not have to deal with you know the kind of all situations that you dominated the last week? Well, this, this hockey game was highly contested as well. There was a lot of contact, and, and the pl players from both teams played hard. Uh, we were a little bit opportunistic uh, in terms of scoring goals, but the National Hockey League today, there are no easy games. It's a very competitive uh, league, and uh, the fans are going to benefit from that. There's, there's nothing wrong. Uh, in fact, it's, it's right that the game is played competitively and played hard. And when you go over the line and get into the extraneous activity in terms of uh, intimidation or violence. It's, it's uh, outside the, the parameters of the game. It's completely uncalled for. And uh, I think that uh, you saw a hard-nosed, highly contested game tonight. Mike, I know you played for game 81. After 40 games, where are you? Pardon me? Uh, you, I know you aim for game 81. Where are you? Well, we're, we, we have to be pleased. We're in third place overall in the National Hockey League. At this time last year, we were in 21st place. Um, we're within striking distance of the Edmonton Oilers and, and the uh, Buffalo Sabres. We're first place in our division. Uh, we have to be, uh, and, and we'll stop and reflect upon it for one day and be pleased with what we've accomplished in the first half. And we look forward to be, being a better club in the next uh, 40 games and certainly in the playoffs. Trust room is open. Thank you. And we'll be back with more. And we'll go way back to May of 1988 after these commercial messages. You've got to get to Gihulis for my next trivia show Friday, February 15th at 8 p.m. 3901 West 103rd Street near St. Xavier University. Music, movies, TV, sports, and requests. Great food, great drink, great fun. Lenny Q's Barbecue. Trivia, alternate Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Daily specials. Catering, too. It's at the Lansing Municipal Airport, 3249 Airport Drive. I'll see you over there. Perfect pitch auto repair at what 108th and Kedzie is great. Tune-ups, transmissions, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. They do a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. They're quick, and they don't charge an arm and a leg. Perfect pitch auto repair, 108th and Kedzie. Trivia will be at the SOC. Alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. 93rd and Roberts Road. Great food, great drink, great people. Everything great. You've got to get to Renata's Beauty Salon. They cut hair for men, women, and kids, and I'm among them. Open six days a week. Walk-ins welcome. Easy to reach at 125th and Western Avenue. Maybe I'll see you there. Reggie's is a great place with tons of music, interesting people and staff, great food and drink at 21st and State. And amongst the cool things they have, Benkowski Trivia. All shows are now Monday at 6 p.m. Reggie's, 21st and State, a fun place. Welcome to the 573rd edition of the Sports Spotlight. Pat Benkowski here with you. You're looking at the first show ever, taped May 18, 1988. And I'm talking to two Cub pitchers, Bill Landrum and Mike Capel. And you're saying, why'd you get them? Who ever heard of them? Well, the answer is... Leon Durham was to be my first guest. When I went down to the Cub locker room to tell him how to get down to this bar shenanigans, he said, I've been traded to the Cincinnati Reds. I can't do it. So in a panic, Dave Martinez helped me get these two rookies. And Leon Durham had some funny thoughts 11 years ago about the concept. Well, I'll tell you, the first thing, the people there at the club tonight, here at the club tonight, I'm sure maybe at least 50 of you guys there probably are happy for me right now. I'm sure I was, sure was going to answer a few questions as far as uh, would I like to be traded? Where would I like to go? 
Uh, we don't like the situation that you're in now. We would rather you, we'd rather see you go elsewhere, or we'd like you to see you get another start job somewhere. So there are the ones who are mentioning that. You know, I just want to let them know that I'm, I'm happy. I'm going home. It's a double pleasure. So that's the ball now of the Cincinnati Reds, and um, I guess we wish them well. <laughs> Except, of course, when they're playing the Cubs. Now, a little bit with our guests uh, here tonight. I want to talk to Mike Capel for a few seconds and find out a little bit about uh, coming to the Cubs organization. Uh, tell us about uh, how you got here, about uh, a couple of your years in the minor leagues, and how you eventually made it to the Cubs. Well, uh, I signed with the Cubs right out of college. And, uh, I've been with them ever since I've been a professional ball player since June And so I've been playing in the minor leagues for four and a half years now. And so this year I got called up May 2nd, so here I am in Chicago. Uh, when you were growing up, uh, tell us about your high school days, a little bit about who are your role models like in terms of professional players. Well, I don't know if, if I ever had any of what you would call role models, except maybe Rusty Staub. He was with the Houston Astros when I was growing up. I never, you know, I never collected baseball cards or autographs or anything like that, which I guess might surprise a lot of people. But I've just always played baseball ever since I was about five. And realized that I had a little talent at it, thought I'd try to give it a shot and see what would happen. Now, a little different story from uh, Bill Landrum growing up in that he kind of has a little bit of baseball history in the family. We were talking earlier today and uh, you're uh, asking me about all the Landrums through history. In fact, uh, there was a time when he was playing with Tyson. Don't tell Tito Landrum that it was that very same frame of reference that you were talking about. I was talking about the White Sox in the 83 playoffs, but uh, tell the folks about uh, your family history in baseball. Well, that's way back to my grandfather. He, he basically ran away from home to play, you know, baseball. Um, that was back in the early 1915, 20 or something. My dad played with the Brooklyn Dodgers um, and went to the World Series in 52. And, and then the Army got him. And after four years later, his career was cut short, you know, due to the Army interfering, you know, with his baseball. So he kind of got short changed, I, I feel like. And, um... You know, growing up, I always had all the Brooklyn Dodgers uh, pictures and stuff around with Pete Reese, Jackie Robinson, Carl Ferrell, you know, all the greats that played with the Brooklyn Dodgers. So I was always, in, I always liked baseball, but I was never pushed really to play it. But I was, I was born in a baseball family, and uh, you know, played it most of my life. You've got to get to Moods Bar and Grill for my trivia game, Alternate Wednesdays. To get to Portage, Indiana, it's exit 19 off I-94 a couple miles south. I will see you at Moods Bar and Grill. You've been watching the Perfect Pitch Auto Repair Sports Spotlight. Perfect Pitch located at 108th and Kedzie. Take your vehicles there for great repairs. This week's show has been brought to you by the Lansing Floral Shop. Call for your flowers at 708-474-1212. Huck Finn, a great wide-ranging menu, along with donuts and ice cream. Open 24 hours at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. Imprint Graphics, leaders in booklet, perfect bound saddle stitch. Very competitive pricing, 708-396-1010.